Okay, I want to welcome you again, guys, to 21 Days of Miracles with Essential Oils, the way to uh, wellness. And today I'm here with another really good friend of mine. It's Frances Kirch. And uh, Fran and I have been friends for a very long time. Introduced her to the oils, I think about a year ago. How long has it been? I think it might actually be a three-year customer. Three-year customer. It's been a long time. Okay. So uh, Fran has had several uh, experiences with her family about the same oils. And so I would love to talk a little bit more about that. And also with the Aroma Touch too, the really good experience with Aroma Touch too. So those are the kind of things we're going to talk about today. So Fran, just to start off, you want to tell a little bit about yourself and about what you've loved most about the oils. I think my two favorite things about the oils are the Aroma Touch and the diffuser. Um, I like to use the diffuser to help the family settle at night with some serenity. And in the morning, I like to use um, Motivate now, but I used to start with the wild orange. And then of course, if anybody's threatening an illness, I just put the on guard right in there. I love it. And, and Purify has been added now too. So sometimes I do that depending upon where we are health-wise with you know, the, a small illness. How many kids do you have, Ben? I have four kids. How old are you? Um, well, <laughs> I have a 21-year-old. I have a 20-year-old, <laughs> and I have an 18-year-old and a 14-year-old. Three boys and one girl. Yes. <laughs> so tell me, tell me something about, um, about some of the experience you've had with your kids, what they really like. Um, well, Adara's most open to uh, doTERRA at this time uh, when she works with me. Um, she's my daughter, by the way. <laughs> um, and one thing that she's done that's made a huge difference in my life is that she garbles with on guard before she leaves the house to go to public school. And since she started doing that, I have stopped getting the ill, you know, um, runny nose, fevers, just those intermittent kind of colds that happen, stomach bugs, any of that. Um, it, it, it really, she's just, it's just made a huge difference. She doesn't bring home stuff that confuses my immune system more. Awesome. I love it. You know, Elsa, which is reminding me, Elsa's my 17 year old. She said today um, that she's been using on guard at night, every night, and because there's been so much stuff going around in the schools. So yeah, similar. So I love it. It's so, a huge difference. Yeah. So she's not sick. I am. But <laughs> <laughs> you have a girl who's in elementary school is a different beast. Oh, that's true. But still, anyway. So um, our, kids, our kids teach us all the time too, right? I mean, that's a beautiful thing about our kids and about these oils. Uh, you've had one amazing experience with the essential oils, especially with the Roma Touch. Want to tell us a little about it? Oh, okay. So, I don't know, what's it? Maybe, maybe five or six years now? Um, back a while ago, I was doing a federal work study at my college, and I, I got injured. And we went, I went to physical therapy, but with the physical therapy, the pain just kept upping. And by the time um, the pain was supposed to be abated, it, didn't and so I would sit there in pain from head to toe like it, it was ridiculous I could feel like the wrinkles in fabric the seams on the inside of my clothes previous to that I didn't really wear pants with elastic or any of that um, but I had to get to a point where my clothes had to be really soft um, and, and it resulted in me isolating myself as well uh, I, I probably was like that for at least two, maybe three years. Um, and then, you know, one day Anna Marie is like, you, you know, I'm kind of sick of you being sick. But, you know, an Anna Marie talk, not, <laughs> that's me, you know, making it more concise. I was like, yeah, me too. It's kind of a bummer. Um, you know, when you isolate yourself, you get lonely and you get uh, sad. So she said, let's just try this aroma touch. You know, I just got certified and, you know, let's just give it a whirl. And so, like I said, for like three years, I've been sitting, um, there's been no control over the pain. Um, the doctors uh, had identified what the issue is 
and the medication that they gave me really didn't resolve the sensitivity. Um, How bad was it? How bad was that pain? And um, I think the most hurtful part of it was that um, all my life I really worked hard to be what I perceived as a good mother. And during those three years, even um, my children leaning up against me um, was painful. Um, my husband, you know, rubbing his thumb while he's holding, rubbing his thumb on my hand while um, he was holding it, that was painful. It was like Chinese water torture. It was just, it was ridiculous. Um, I, I gained a ton of weight. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit fluffy. Um, <laughs> but uh, so, so, yeah, I think that was the, the most grievous part of it is that um, I had to tell my children, can you sit up on your own? Your weight is, is, is hurting now. I have to be like, can you let me just have my hand back? It got, you know, when you can't touch your family, I mean, it's really important just for mental and physical health to be able to touch your husband and your children. And when you can't touch them, again, it's another level of isolation and segregation. And that's just, um, yeah, that's really good. hard. That's hard. It's just really flipping hard. So what happened with your mama touch? Well, um, Henry, you said, let's start out twice a week. I was like, okay. I was like, worst case, you know, I'm supporting my friend in her new business endeavor. And, you know, maybe I buy some stuff. And um, worst case, it's a, it's a stupid human trick, right? With Anne Marie, I love her. She's been my friend for like over 20 years. I'm not even kidding about that. <laughs> um, and so um, she gave me my first aroma touch. And she was like, she was telling me while she was giving it that normally people fall asleep. Um, but when I was done, I really had an afterglow. I had a ton of energy compared to the three years of sitting on the seat. Um, and so for the first month, I'd get a good 20 to 50 minutes of energy. And, um, you know, for three years sitting and gaining weight and being isolated and just looking at all the stuff uh, that needed to be done, I mean, that was really burdensome. But I, I knew if I got home quick enough uh, that I could be productive, right? And that's going to alleviate some of that self-recrimination that takes place when you have a long-term illness. Um, and so... Wow, I was like so excited. And seriously, every time, major afterglow. So um, we kept at that twice a week for about three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So then we moved it down to once a week because I was getting more than 20 to 50 minutes out of it uh, by the third month. And so <clears throat> we moved it to once a week. And then uh, we did that for like another two months. And of course, my time and energy continued to extend, um, which of course I could be happier about because that meant that meant I could go back to school and finish my courses. It meant that I was going to be allowed to socialize soon. I wasn't going to have to just tell everybody, "No, it's not going to happen," um, and be super isolated. Um, I was going to be able to go out, you know have a lunch, have a quick walk. It was going to be okay. And um, being able to plan to that level was a huge deal, massive. Um, so after another two months of that, she had to go on a trip. And she was going to be gone for like a month or something. I don't know. I'm not really good with time. I went to get ready again. Yeah. Yeah. So she's, she's globetrotting because, you know, that's what she does. And... <laughs> I'm sitting at home, and by this time, I uh, have taught my daughter how to do the aroma touch, um, and I do it for her. Um, and we, you know, we were experimenting. We weren't perfect. We hadn't been trained or certified yet, um, and so she would. We, we would just have me do. She would give me an aroma touch just when I was starting to feel too much pain or. Um, Maybe I was getting really bummed out, 
uh, or unmotivated, and um, we would do it then. So uh, by that time, I mean, our daughter was, she might have done it like in three weeks. And so then we, we started back with Anna Marie probably once a month at that point. Um, and eventually she, she went away again, having fun, doing her thing. And um, I, I really, it was just such, such a nice thing to not be a stupid human trip, to actually make a difference in my life. Uh, and yeah. I remember that. And, and so um, has it lasted? Because right now we hardly ever do it anymore. Uh, I yeah, I'm not, I'm not in pain right now. I'm not being, I can, I walk five miles uh, pretty regularly. I have uh, two, two uh, medals for doing a walking program. So from YesFit. Uh, yeah, and I'm, you know, I've, I've done three courses since then. I mean, I take it easy because I'm still a stay-at-home mom. But because, um, you know, my priorities are might be different from yours. That's fine. Right. But, but the physical has really made a difference and emotional too. I want to share something with you guys. Um, and that's this one. So let me show you real quickly. This is, this is Aroma Touch. And um, the one thing I want you to get from this, this is from aromatouch.com, is that you can, you can do this. You can teach this. Okay. I've said it this to Fran from um, a wonderful thing. I mean, if a, if a teenage daughter can learn how to do it on her mom, then, then you can learn it too. Now, we teach these classes all the time. You can also get certi certified in it. That's um, a day-long training. But we also teach it in evenings and several classes. So if you're interested, let, let us know. Fran can teach you. I can teach you. There's several in our, in our um, circle, in our friends, in our leadership that can teach these methods. And so there's, there's eight oils that we use, and you find them over here. It's Balance, Lavender, Melaleuca, Dot On Guard, Aroma Touch, Deep Blue, Wild Orange, and Peppermint. And if you see here, the way it's applied here, you can see that it's, it's applied here on the back uh, several times. Many of these oils are applied on the back, and then there's also applied on the feet. So um, this, there's all kind of beautiful things going on as you do that. And um, the oils have kind of four phases to it. The one is to relax, the balance and liveness to relax, and to help the immune support for uh, Mel, Luca, and On Guard. And Aroma Touch and Deep Blue are really anti-inflammatory and help for pain. And wild orange and peppermint bring the whole body back into homeostasis. So there's all these things that we can do uh, with the aroma touch. So it has many, many aspects of it. And in terms of chronic diseases, this is what you see a lot. So um, I want to show, go back to this one for a second. And I um, just want to go and finish up. If there's anything, Fran, that you want to say to people about what you, what, about this aroma touch, what would you say to them? Um, I'm a combination girl. I really love Aroma Touch. I think you should give it a shot. Um, I've had ongoing illnesses my whole life, and um, it made a huge difference. Worst case scenario, stupid human trick. You spend a little money on some oils. You, you might have spent that kind of money on a date with your spouse or a friend or something. But giving it a shot's a good idea. Okay. So we're going to finish with that. Thanks so much, Fran, for being here. Welcome. You've made a huge difference in my life. I think you know that. And these oils have been amazing. And it's been an honor, actually, to work with people. So, guys, we're going to have a lot more uh, videos and also a lot more information on below this post. Sorry for my dog. <laughs> but um, I hope you got most of it. And we'll talk soon. And again, thanks again, Fran. Sure thing. Bye. Bye.